Okay, I'm going to put a link to this video that I found <coughs> online, and rather than me doing a demonstration live, I'm going to save some time, because this one happens to be in a foreign language from us. So as an English um, translation to this, I'm going to play through this video and uh, explain to you how the gate controller works and how to configure it and set it up. So as you can see, there's the gate controller. And uh, to the right, you'll see over here, there's where the power, the 12 volts, positive and negative, gets connected. And on the left-hand side of that, over there, you've got the normally open, normally closed contacts to connect to the gate motor or to whatever it is that you want to turn on for a particular period of time. Um, as he's pointing out, 9 to 36 volts DC is to connect to those two, the positive and negative. And then on that side, you've got the common, normally open, and normally closed option. And on the top, there's actually a trigger, that one over there that he's pointing to now, that you can connect to a budge, uh, exit button. Um, if you, so an, an exit button or some other um, trigger that you want to send to the device. And then that's obviously where the SIM card goes, and you can see the direction of the clip, where it's going in there. And that's literally it. You don't have to do anything else. There's no configuration or anything else required um, on the device itself, although there is a reset button at the bottom over there, but uh, no need to worry about that. Anyway, there is a user manual that will be attached below, which basically gives you these same settings over here. Um, so if you uh, have a look at that, you'll get the settings. Um, the start of it is a, that number that shows as the default password that's set on the device. Um, you'll show you how to reset it now as well, um, so that you can go back to factory settings if you can't communicate to it, and the communication is via SMS. So, so long as you've got uh, SMS bundles or SMS on your uh, SIM card, this is how you SMS the device to program it. Um, the reset function, you just put the default password and hash, reset hash, and it will come back saying, uh, reset successful, please reboot the device, which you do, you reset it. And if you want to program a phone number to make it that only a specific phone number will work on the device or a, a, a group of phone numbers, um, you use this command over here, which is the password that you can change, um, hash, and then the telephone number, and uh, 001 would be position number one. And you can write that down in a book so you know who's got which position. So if you want to take away access from somebody, you can go in and delete that phone number, or you can have a look and see what phone number is against that particular number. So there it shows you it comes back with the, the position number one and the phone number that's been assigned to that number or to that, that position. And there's 200 positions that you can record phone numbers against. Everything is in the manual, but uh, most people don't like to read. So uh, we'll just go through the basics here. Okay, um, that was the AU command. Um, just have a look at what AU was. Oh, so AU is to set authorization. That's right. So that's only the people with that got the manual here, and um, which I will leave in the comments down below that you can download and have a look at it. So that's to set the set the authentication. I've used use a lot. Um, when I do tests, I just I just say that uh, anybody is authorized. So it doesn't matter about the phone number. It doesn't matter about anything. And basically, there's just two commands you need to get it up and running and functioning. Um, you basically just do the reset. You don't set up any phone numbers. And uh, ba from there on, you can basically call the device and do a missed call. And it will open automatically on that missed call. Um, there is an APK that you can connect to your, I'm not going to go through all these commands, like I say, you can look at them in the, uh, in the patch notes, and um, that's to set the delay um, of 10 milliseconds, or whatever period you want, it goes up to 500 milliseconds, on how long to stay unlocked or locked, okay, so there it says 10 seconds, so it's obviously seconds, although it says here yeah, milliseconds in the, in the manual, but anyway, so it looks like it's 10 seconds, so you just say got, and then you and um, yeah, so I was just talking about, I don't think he demonstrates it, but there is an attachment below as well for a cell phone app that you can use. And what the app does is it just has an interface, uh, still sends SMSs or missed calls. And what it does is it opens the, uh, your, your, your telephone application and automatically calls by just um, shaking your phone. You can either shake it 
or you can push the button to unlock the gate. Okay, so now he's phoning the, the unit and you'll see it will trigger and the light will come on there at the bottom to show the relay is either in operation or not. And there the relay is back off again after 10 seconds and that's it. Very simple device, very easy to function, easy to maintain and manage. Um, I think the key is to keep a book of who you've uh, recorded or which number you're recording against which um, which option out of the 200 um, numbers that you can set. Just play simply so you can take them away and put them back when you need to. So it's just showing the, the security. Like I said, you can watch the original video. I'll leave the link below. So you can hear the audio. So I think even just watching his video without understanding him is very simple to understand the process. Um, like I said, the user manual is very clear as well. Yeah, let's just go forward into this because I don't think it's necessary to watch it all. I'm just trying to see if there's anything else that's pertinent. Uh, that's obviously the value of the of the signal screen. Just if, uh, if you want to find out what's getting that signal there. Can we just see what that is? R and N. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, disable the notification message on the relay status. Okay. Um, well, when you're running the app, I think it, it notifies you. Uh, when the relay is on or off, the device will not send notification message. That's what it says. Oh, no, I think that's about it. There's not much else. Uh, this is just how to change the password from 1234. If you don't want to leave it as the default, you've got the option to change it. And if you want to reset it after that, you obviously need the password. I think you should be able to reset it from the reset button as well physically, but um, you can do it through sending SMSs as well. Yeah, and like I said, the, the beauty of this uh, device is that uh, you can either trigger it by a missed call, um, which means you phone the device and it just drops the call, so there's no cost involved at all. Alternatively, you can do it by sending an SMS, so it's got both options. Very cost-effective unit, uh, works well, simple, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, share, and uh, keep it for your technicians if they need to have help on.